Babanaga Oda was a famous warlord during the Warring States period who unified Japan. But one night while he was sleeping, he was surrounded by rebels. After fighting with all he could with his trusted subordinates, Oda was still unable to break the siege of the rebels. He decided to give up. While waiting for the enemy to rush in, Oda wondered what he would do in his next life. Maybe he would just be a dog. Several hundred years later, Oda woke up in the form of a dog. This made him extremely shocked and regretful of his words. If he had acted cooler, he could have been a Doberman or at the very least, a shepherd, not a Shiba like this. Oda's owner is a girl named Ikiko Oda, and she gave Oda the name Cinnamon. Although he has the mind of the great Lord Nobunaga, his instincts are still those of a Shiba dog. Every time he sees his owner, he rushes to hug her and wags his tail, even rolling back and forth unconsciously without control. Oda also likes to have his belly rubbed and taken for walks, even though reason tells him that no one has the right to decide Nobunaga Oda's path. But as a result, he still had to obey and let Akiko lead him. At least he's still in dog form, not human form. Arriving at the park, Oda encountered other dogs. Even though he didn't like any of them, because of his owner, Oda had to behave like a dog. But he didn't know how to befriend a dog, so he decided to dig a hole to pass the time. Suddenly, a Pomeranian dog came and started talking to Oda. It seems they have known each other from previous lives. Oda tried to guess many times but still couldn't get it right, so the Pomeranian dog had to introduce himself as the Lord nicknamed the Protector of the Gods. Take the Shinjin. The telltale sign is his bushy tail, just like his headgear in his previous life. Take the said they weren't the only ones reincarnated as dogs. That French bulldog with the blindfold is one-eyed General Date Massimune. That Borzoi-like dog is the invincible god of war, Yuyusugi Kenshin. And that poodle is the genius strategist Kirota Yashitaka. Finally, there is Lord Imagawa Yashimoto in the form of a small brown-colored dog. Take to inform Noda that this park was a neutral zone in the middle of a warlike conflict, and that it was not part of any dog's territory. When his mistress took him home, Oda saw something that looked like a foreigner's scarf, so he thought it would be cool if he wore it. He asked Akiko to buy it for him, but it turned out to be a children's shampoo hat. In his previous life, when Oda was a lord, he loved bathing because he would have many beautiful women serving him. But when he became a dog, he was afraid of bathing. The next day, while walking, the mistress stopped to get water for Oda. With the dignity of a lord, it was humiliating to drink water from a girl's hand. But he was thirsty, so Oda had to lower his neck. It's surprising that its taste is delicious, comparable to a cup of tea prepared by artisan Rikyu. That night, while watching TV with her mistress, a movie about Nobunaga Oda was playing. Through it, Oda learned that he died by assassination, but he could not remember who killed him. The next day, Oda told the story to the other dogs, but none of them knew who Oda's assassin was. In the end, all suspicions turned to Oda's trusted subordinate, Haito Mitsu. Although Mitsu was the person Oda trusted the most, he never liked this guy just because he was handsome and better at riding horses and shooting than him. Oda was lounging with the generals when he saw a young man who looked exactly like Mitsu. He was thinking that Mitsu had reincarnated and was still looking for him to kill him when suddenly he rushed to hug Oda with a fascinated expression. Seeing that scene, the generals thought Mitsu was gay and loved Mr. Oda very much. But actually, he's just a Shiba dog addict. When he met Oda's owner, he introduced himself as a lover of Shiba dogs and milk. Mitsu's handsome appearance made Akiko fall in love, and she even started thinking about the house and children. One day, Oda was walking with Akiko when he saw Takeda and Kenshin standing and looking at each other in front of a house with a sign named Kawana Kajima. Oda recognized Kawana Kajima as the place where Takeda and Kenshin's armies encountered each other. The two owners of Takeda and Kenshin also did not understand why the two dogs kept staring at each other every time they passed this place. In the afternoon, Kenshin came to meet Oda to talk about his past life. It turned out that he wanted to thank Oda for the cloak that Oda once gave him. Kenshin liked it very much and often wore it before sleeping. But actually, that cloak is a piece of junk. Oda was given that cloak by someone and found it very ugly, so he called his subordinates to give it to Kenshin. To this day, it has become an important cultural treasure stored in museums. Seeing Kenshin's appearance, Oda decided it would be better not to tell the truth. Ever since Oda realized he had reincarnated into a dog, he had always tried to fight his dog's instincts. But the more he fought it, the more he acted like a dog. Especially, no matter how high his bravery is, hunger is unbearable. 
While digging in the ground, Akiko asked him to go for a walk, which made him very happy. When they arrived at the market, Akiko and her best friend Toma were extremely nervous. It turns out they were about to get into a fight over discounted items. After winning a lot of clothes, the two girls happily left with a triumphant look. Tomo asked Akiko if she had never seen her wearing Oda's clothes. Hearing that, Akiko was startled and felt guilty because she realized she hadn't thought of that at all. Oda saw that Akiko's face looked like a samurai before performing the execution ritual. Akiko suddenly thought that if her dog wore clothes, it would be very cute, so she immediately went to buy an outfit for Oda. Not knowing what to do, Tomo took Mr. Oda to the park to wait. Here, Oda met the Imagawa lord again in a handsome suit. Oda conveniently asked Imagawa if he hated him in the past for leading his army to destroy him. But Imagawa said that being a dog is very happy now, so he soon gave up all hatred. Best of all, he now has a very beautiful dog wife named Lily. Oda saw that and felt extremely jealous of him. At this moment, Akiko ran back with a dog suit, but wearing it made Oda look like he was being grabbed by a koala. It's summer, so the weather is blazing hot, but luckily these days there is something called air conditioning. It is a magical thing that makes Oda very excited because he can comfortably live in the summer without worrying about the heat. Akiko suddenly thought that it would be great to invite Haito to the beach this summer. They will have romantic moments together. When Oda heard about going to the beach, he thought he would wear a loincloth and communicate with foreigners. However, Akiko suddenly changes her mind and doesn't want to go to the beach anymore. It turns out that because she has gained weight recently, she can't wear a bikini. A few days later, Akiko and the girls at the park held an outdoor party. Oda told the dogs that, for some reason, whenever he saw fire, he would pee. The other dogs think that perhaps Oda is cursed because, in his previous life, he burned many people alive at Mount Hanauji. But Oda said that in his entire life of fighting, he has never burned anyone. Kenshin told Oda that the event was clearly recorded in Japanese history, and that its author was a man named Oda Juichi. Oda suddenly remembered that it was his retainer who was so crazy about Oda that he often stalked him, making Oda feel sick. Later, Imagawa's wife revealed that she was a French princess in her previous life. She was later appointed queen, but France at that time was already on the verge of bankruptcy. Poverty people ousted her from the throne, and she was then reincarnated into a dog. While standing and looking at the couple lovingly kissing, Haito suddenly rushed over and hugged Oda. Today he carried a squirrel on his shoulder, staring at Oda. It turns out that this squirrel is Haito's reincarnation. In this life, he has to be the pet of someone who has the same face as him. Even now, Haito still idolizes his master, Oda. But he thought that Oda always thought he was a traitor, so he decided not to reveal his identity for now. It was raining today, so Akiko couldn't take Oda out to play. Oda was upset because he had to stay indoors all day when he suddenly farted. Even he himself couldn't stand the smell of his own farts. Akiko saw Oda rolling around and thought he wanted to go play in the rain. So she dressed him in a raincoat and took him for a walk. However, that raincoat prevented the smell of farts from escaping, making it almost impossible for Oda to breathe. The next morning, Oda went to the park, and the lords mentioned the father and son of the Sonata family, who were once taken as subordinates. But it seems like no one has seen them in this life. Masamune says that Sonata's son, Yukimura, was also reincarnated as a dog in this life. Yesterday, he just met Yukimura. In their previous lives, Masamune and Yukimura were bitter rivals. Yukimura is a famous battle-hardened general. But in this life, he is a corgi with a smiling face all day long. Even when he urinated, he was smiling. That made General Masamune extremely disappointed. As for Takeda, even though he is a dog in this life, he can satisfy his perverted tastes. With this petite body, he can comfortably look at girls' underwear. Even with his cute appearance, he was always hugged by girls and touched on holy ground. Thanks to that, he knows everything about what color underwear girls wear. He was chatting with Kenshin and Oda when a beautiful girl was walking up. He thought he was going to see a new one but was startled when he saw it. It turned out that inside the girl's underwear was a hidden sword. That afternoon, Akiko took Oda to the park because she thought Haito would pass by there. She planned to ask for his phone number. Later, Haito passed by, and Akiko immediately started talking to him. But at this moment, Haito's phone rang. He said that Sarah called him home for dinner. Akiko is shocked because she thought Sarah was Haito's girlfriend, so she is desperate. She hugs Oda and says she doesn't need any guys but Oda. Every day, Yukimura goes to the park to look at people and thinks that if he lives a kind life, he will be reincarnated as a human in his next life. Even so, he still did not resist the dog's instincts and defecated in the park. Before every meal, Akiko plays shooting games with Oda. Oda still followed his dog's instincts and pretended to be dead. 
She then took out a dog food grain, making Oda feel sick of it. However, he was forced to eat it because there was no other food, and the taste wasn't bad. He remembered a ninja village dish called Hyorogan. It is a food used to replenish energy, and only one pill is enough for one day. Making that dish is not difficult. Just mix cereals, bean flour, fish flakes, salted plums, pine nuts, honey, and licorice with anything edible in the house. Mix it well, and then add water, sake, and oil. It's not horrible, but it's not great, either. Well, flavor doesn't really matter. Today, the generals gathered in the park to talk about the women of their past lives. Takeda is very proud of his wife. She is a beautiful lady, but sometimes she is also very scary. Imagawa also intended to brag about his ex-wife, but seeing his current wife's expression staring at him, he decided to pretend to forget everything. General Masamune is very proud that he has many wives, and they get along very well. Maybe because they all like this handsome face. Kenshin regrets that in his previous life, he swore that he would not touch women so that he could become the strongest. In this life, he realized that what he really wanted was a beautiful young wife. At this time, everyone thought Oda definitely had more than 20 wives, but he said that he only had one wife named Noheim. She is the daughter of the Viper of Mino, Sato Dawson. Noheim's father, Dawson, and brother, Yashitatsu, had a falling out. The Sato family collapsed. Noheim was still young, and Oda wanted lots of kids, so he had many concubines. Still, she was the only one Oda could call his wife. One day, Ikiko and her two girlfriends were walking on the street when they met Haito. As always, Haito rushed to hug Oda and caress him. Ikiko intended to take this opportunity to ask Haito about Sarah. But before she could ask, a big guy appeared to give Haito his homework. He introduced himself as Honganji, Haito's classmate. Oda was very angry when he heard this name because Honganji was the biggest obstacle for Oda in his unification of Japan. The fact that Honganji is with Haito means that he can be sure that Haito is a traitor. At this time, Ikiko mustered up the courage to ask Haito who Sarah was. It turns out Sarah is another name for Honganji. That was the nickname his friends gave him. Hearing that, Akiko was very happy, but her friend named Ai-chan thought that these two guys were in love. One day, Akshai was thinking about his master Oda when he heard someone calling him a traitor. When he looked up, he saw it was a stink bug. Akshai recognizes it as the reincarnation of Oda Juuichi, the one responsible for recording all of Oda's moments in history. Akshai immediately used a jar to imprison him. From what Akshai remembered, Oda was more of a follower of Oda than a loyal subordinate. After Oda committed suicide, he began writing a biography of Oda. But because his worship of Oda was so crazy, he added many details that distorted Oda's history, making people think that Oda was a cold-blooded sadist. Oda tried to justify his actions by saying that he wanted Oda to become famous and be remembered in history books. Akshai says that this is history, not movies or plays. He is not allowed to distort the truth just for personal feelings. As soon as he finished speaking, Akshai saw Oda struggling helplessly. It turned out that because he was locked in a sealed jar, he was killed by his own stench. A few days later, Oda was reincarnated again, but this time he was in the form of an ant, so he was almost trampled to death by humans. A passing wind brought him before Oda. Before he could say anything, Oda swallowed him. Akiko's friend, Ai Chan, is Masamune's master. She is a big fan of superhero movies. Musamune also loves superhero movies, so he has always thought of himself as one of the heroes. He claims to save the world. Oda and Yukimura burst into laughter when they heard it. They thought his thinking was too childish. But Masamune maintained his determination to become a hero. One day, Ikiko went out and left Oda alone at home. This made Oda so excited that he had free time. He was free to make trouble without fear of Ikiko yelling at him. After messing around for a while, he got bored and walked around looking for anything fun. He walks into Akiko's bathroom and thinks it's different from his era. It smells good, but you can't see the scenery outside. Oda tried climbing onto the toilet and pressed a function button. The water spraying from below made Oda feel cool and comfortable. But he realized he didn't know how to turn it off. Haito is so crazy about Oda that he has pictures of Oda plastered all over his room. He even pasted his photo onto Masamune's photo to have a photo with Oda. To the point that Akshai felt extremely frightened by Haito's love madness. Today is Rabi's vaccination day for dogs. The girls took their pets to the clinic for free vaccinations. When the dogs realized that, they were extremely frightened. Takeda was injected first. When he came out, he said that this was more terrifying than the bloody battles of the past. Even Kenshin, who was known as strong, could not walk after being vaccinated. But Yukimura still smiled. It turns out that ever since he got here, he's been so focused on greeting the other dogs that he's forgotten about the fact that he's been vaccinated. 
That night, Akiko and Oda watched horror movies together. They were so scared that they almost wet their pants. To relieve this fear, Akiko takes Oda out for a walk. While they were walking, they heard a sound from the bushes and thought it was a ghost. But it turned out to be a turtle. They continue walking, and Akiko feels someone is stalking her. It turns out Haito was following them. He saw Akiko walking alone with her dog, so he wanted to go with her. But Oda thinks Haito is scarier than a ghost. A.I. Chan is not only a superhero movie addict but also crazy about General Masamune. However, her room does not have any photos of General Masamune. It turns out that behind these ordinary photo frames is a photo of General Masamune. Her drawer is filled with Masamune dolls. In this seemingly ordinary blanket is a painting of Masamune hidden on the other side. Perhaps what she couldn't have expected the most was that her pet was General Masamune. One day, Oda saw Akiko trying on a very pretty dress. But what he noticed most was that the way the dress's bow was tied was very similar to the way the loincloth was tied that Oda had invented. During ancient wars, Japanese men often wore loincloths to fight. During the battle, when you have to go, whether it's to pee or poo, nature calls, even on the battlefield. If you wear a loincloth, it will take you a lot of time to take it off, so you will be easily assassinated. That's why Oda invented a loincloth tied around the neck like an apron. Furthermore, he didn't sew the hakama shut. With the frills layered thick, you don't have to worry about exposing your junk. Pull at the frills, and you can get to the loincloth. Girls often take photos of their pets and post them on social networks. Oda realized that in his era, if social networks existed, it would be easy for ninjas to find out their target's information. The lords also boasted cool photos of themselves on the battlefield on social networks. However, Kuroda believes that if social networks appeared in that era, it would be very dangerous because any tactic would be easily exposed. One day, Oda realized that his wooden house had disappeared. It turns out it was thrown away by Akiko's mother. This shocked Oda because, for a lord, a castle is a very important thing. Seeing Oda looking sad, Akiko's mother decided to buy him a new house to make him happy again. But it turned out that it was just a temporary tent for dogs. One day, Akiko and her friends decided to visit Shogun Masamune's old castle. But because Haito had motion sickness, the driver had to drive very slowly to help him. As long as the driver drove a little faster, Haito immediately got out of the car and vomited. Seeing Haito so tired made everyone very worried. But Haito said that if he hugged Oda, he would get well again. Sure enough, when he hugged Oda, all his fatigue was gone. Talk about Oda's reincarnation process. After Oda committed suicide, he was reincarnated into the body of a Shiba dog. He is the youngest of four brothers born into a pet business. Even though he had the body of a Shiba, his intelligence was still that of Lord Oda, so he acted differently than other dogs, making the mother dog extremely worried when she saw him not drinking milk. He and his brothers were then separated from their mother and offered for sale to dog lovers. But because of his murderous eyes and surly attitude, no one wanted to buy him. But then a girl came and wanted to buy him. That person is none other than Akiko. She insisted on buying Oda, even though the staff suggested other dogs. Even though Oda always had a surly attitude towards customers, seeing Akiko's carefree eyes made him act like a true Shiba. Since then, Akiko has always considered Oda a member of her family. Oda is also very grateful to Akiko for giving him a comfortable life in this life.